The process of creating embroidery objects on screen is called digitizing. Like design creation in Corel Draw graphics, this involves the use of input or digitizing methods. In this video, we look at creating an embroidered badge using a variety of input tools available in Embroidery Studio. Setting up. First, set up a blank design file and import the artwork. Size the artwork for the targeted garment or item, in this case a badge. Press K to lock into position. Choose a fabric to suit the type you are stitching on. Look at your artwork and decide on the best digitizing order, colors and stitch types. Set up the design palette as shown. If you already have thread codes, use these to search the selected thread chart. Digitize the logo shape. Use the ellipse tool to create the primary circle as shown. Digitize a smaller inner circle fill object. Use the Arrange command to align the centers. Use the Remove Overlaps function to remove any underlying stitching. Set a cutting overlap, in this case 1 mm. Adjust the stitch angle with the Reshape tool. Move the inner circle below the outer circle by resequencing. Digitize the shield and fletches. Digitize the shield outline using the Digitize Close Shape tool with Satin Stitch. Using the Close Shape tool, digitize the inner shield with tatami stitch. With the Digitize Column tool, digitize the first fletch. Select the fletch and quick clone it by right click and drag. Again, using the Remove Overlaps function, select Shield and Fletch objects and set an overlap of 1mm. Check the result by clicking the Locate button on the Color Object list. Digitize the laurels. Digitize a laurel with Motif Run as shown.
Add details with a combination of closed and open shape tools. Choose the laurel objects and use the mirror copy horizontal tool to reflect about the design center. Digitize the lettering. Using the lettering tool, create the upper lettering using an arc clockwise baseline together with college font. Adjust height, width and spacing settings as shown. Use the same technique to create lowercase lettering with an arc counterclockwise baseline. Fine tune spacing with the reshape object tool. Digitize outer circle details. With the basic shapes function, quickly generate a star for the outer circle. Quick clone for the other stars. Again, use Mirror Copy Horizontal to copy the stars to the other side. Using the Outlines and Offsets function, quickly create borders for the outer circle. Delete the inner border. Finalize for stitch out. Check the underlay settings for the main shapes. Make sure underlay is adequate for the chosen fabric. Use the color object list to adjust the stitching sequences necessary. Select all objects and apply closest join. Run the stitch player to visualize the final stitch out. If available, use the array tool to create multiple copies of the design for faster stitch outs. Color blocks are automatically resequenced to eliminate unnecessary color changes.